the greeks were deeply interested in life they enjoyed every aspect of life when death came they were unreconciled they didn't know the meaning of death at all that was the weakness of greek philosophy of life that continues to modern western like people also we have inherited from the greeks the whole concept of life alone is true not death but the truth is life and death are two aspects of the same reality that is what vedanta teaches yasya chaya amritam yasya mrityu in the rigveda you find reality is that of which one shadow is life another shadow is death both are there you can't understand life till you understand death see the philosophy no philosophy can be deep without understanding the nature of death so in greek philosophy this experience was not there not entirely correct one person in greek philosophy knew the meaning of death that was socrates he knew the meaning of death exactly as the indian sages the atman is ever there no weapons can cut no fire can burn no air can dry the gita describe the nature of the atman now this truth is taught in india from very ancient times we are not the body we are the atman we have a body as an external covering so death means removal of that covering a pillow case is removed pillow remains as we put it like that so socrates understood this truth so he faced death with a courage which we have never seen in greek history this is one lesson we must learn today when we study vedanta if you are really understanding the truth then you will see yes life means death what else is life except raising against death but death is finally what wins that's the truth about it it's better that we know and so we face death with courage yes it has to come not that we are going to commit suicide life will continue we will correct ourselves if there is sickness we will take a doctor and have medicine now shankaracharya or ramakrishna they were they allowed themselves to be treated when they were sick therefore there is no question of a pathological condition i want to die there is no such thing we will have life in this body but one day it will end and we know that we are eternal there is no death for the soul when this knowledge is deep in us then we can react to death in a particular way this was a teaching in christianity also in the st paul's sayings you will find there then shall we experience that state when we shall be able to say o grave where are thy treasures o death where is thy sting that state will come it was expressed in paul's teaching but slowly it was forgotten western culture is entirely based upon the body i am essentially the body that's why we have got everything to sweeten the body brighten the body and all the manufacturing things are coming only for the body for the soul there is so little manufacture for the mind also very little you see yesterday i was telling in the lecture a magazine new news week or so i read or the northwest uh, air magazine in the aeroplane saying people have got now a new craze we must have good bathrooms now a whole article has come store golden seat for the toilet and huge bath with whirlpool in it very costly because that's way to enjoy life there's language used there so people are now having that kind of bathroom and big advertisements are coming and all that why is it so body is the center of all attention how to make it nicer nicer vegananda used to say it is like putting roses on a dead body uh, one day it will stink we forget that truth to some extent we can care for the body beyond that it is absolute obsession that obsession is there in today's civilization and till that obsession goes away we cannot understand our true nature i am the atman i have a body but i am not the body that knowledge has to come but it has not come because of this materialistic civilization vedanta comes in it teaches us this truth if you really understand that truth we get reconciled to that last experience called death until then we may learn all these things we say when we ramakrishna is saying you teach a parrot to say rama 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 god's name he will say all that 
But as soon as the cat catches hold of him, caw, caw, he will say. He forgets all Rama at that time. So we are all like that. Until the thing, what you call, sinks down. Yes, I am not the body. I am a child of the divine. That is my inheritance. Then like Socrates, we shall be able to say, yes, I welcome you. You have come, here am I ready. Don't try to squeeze me out. That attitude will come. You welcome death like a brother, is the language used by Vivekananda in his lecture on my master in New York. Welcome death like a brother. That attitude will come with a smile, you will go.